Hello and a warm welcome to all on our special program Current Affairs. Recently, the Union Minister of Coal and Mines addressed a webinar on coal gasification and liquefaction. According to the minister, India aims for 100 million tons coal gasification by the year 2030. For this, investments worth over rupees 4 lakh crores will be made. In GK Today's Current Affairs Explainer program series, we will discuss questions like what is coal gasification, benefits of coal gasification, concerns and challenges associated with this, why should India go for coal gasification, what is coal liquefaction, benefits of liquefaction and the way forward. Let us begin by talking about the first question, what is coal gasification? It is the process of generating syngas. Syngas is a mixture consisting carbon monoxide, that is CO, hydrogen, that is H2, carbon dioxide, that is CO2, natural gas, that is CH4, and water vapor, that is H2O. In the process of gasification, coal is blown with oxygen and steam while also being heated under high pressure. During the reaction, oxygen and water molecules oxidize the coal and generate syngas. So what are the benefits of gasification? Transportation of gas is much cheaper in comparison to transportation of coal. It helps mitigate local pollution problems since it can effectively use the gases twice, hence it has greater efficiency compared to conventional coal burning. Actually, first the impurities are removed from the coal gases and then fired in a turbine to produce electricity. The exhaust heat from the gas turbine can be stored to produce steam for a steam turbine generator. Concerns and challenges associated with this Coal gasification is one of the more water-intensive types of energy production. There are also problems regarding water contamination, land subsidence and disposal of wastewater in safety. So the question here is why should India go for coal gasification? It is becoming increasingly obvious that coal will continue to occupy the center stage of India's energy scenario in times to come. Exhaustible reserves of petroleum and natural gas, eco-conservation limitations of hydropower projects, improvement in technology for harnessing renewable energy and geopolitical perception of nuclear power, all these factors are buttressing the aforesaid statement. Hence, India is well positioned to take up coal gasification for producing energy from isolated coal blocks to fulfill India's ever-increasing energy demands. Moving further, let us know what is coal liquefaction. Coal liquefaction is an alternative way to produce diesel and gasoline. It is economically feasible only in a world of high crude oil prices. Coal liquefaction is also called coal to liquid, that is CTL technology. The process involves gasification of coal, which in turn will generate synthetic gas. Synthetic gas is a mix of carbon monoxide and water vapor. The synthetic gas can be liquefied to its fuel equivalent in presence of cobalt or iron-based catalyst at high temperature and pressure. However, liquefied coal releases twice as much CO2 as burning oil. It also releases a large volume of SO2. What is the benefit of liquefaction? The CO2 emissions can easily and cheaply be captured from the CTL plants in comparison to conventional coal-fired power stations. The captured CO2 can be transported and sorted into underground storage reservoirs. The process of storing and capturing carbon is called geosequestration. Further, let us know what is the way ahead. 
the government has provided for a concession of 20% on revenue share of coal used for gasification. It is basically to promote use of clean source of fuel. This will improve production of synthetic natural gas, energy fuel, urea for fertilizers and production of other chemicals. In addition to developing indigenous technology, the Indian government should make an effort to attract leading foreign companies investing in domestic CTL projects and private Indian players. This would help in lessening energy security concerns and bring about energy independence of the country, adding a feather in the Atmanirbhar Abhiyan.